Hello everyone, and welcome to today's troubleshooting session. It's Shachi Tech, and in this video, we're going to tackle one of the most frustrating blue screen errors that Windows users encounter the critical process die blue screen error. If you've ever seen this error message pop up on your screen, you know how disruptive it can be. But fear not. I'm here to guide you through the steps to fix it and get your PC back up and running smoothly. So, let's jump right in. Step 1. Restart your computer. First things first, let's try a simple yet effective solution. Restarting your computer can often resolve temporary software glitches that may be causing the error. This step helps refresh your system and clears any processes that might be hanging or malfunctioning. To restart your computer, click on the Start menu located in the bottom left corner of your screen. This will open up the Start menu, where you'll find the power options. Next, navigate to the power button icon, usually located at the bottom left or bottom right corner of the start menu. Click on the power button to reveal the power options menu. In the power options menu, you'll see several options such as shut down, restart, and sleep. To perform a restart, simply click on the restart option. Once you click restart your computer will begin the reboot process. During this time, your system will shut down all running processes, close all open applications, and power off before automatically restarting. Allow your computer a few moments to complete the restart process. Once it's finished booting up again, check to see if the critical process died error persists. If the error no longer appears, you're good to go. If it does persist, don't worry we have more troubleshooting steps to try. Step 2. Check for Windows Updates. Keeping your operating system up to date is crucial for stability and security. Windows frequently releases patches and updates to address known issues, including those that may trigger the critical process died error. To check for updates, go to Settings by clicking on the Start menu and selecting the gear icon. From there, navigate to Update and Security and click on Windows Update in the left-hand menu. If updates are available, you'll see them listed here. Click on Check for Updates and let Windows download and install any available updates. It's essential to ensure that your system is fully updated to mitigate the risk of encountering the critical process died error. After the updates have been installed, you may need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Once your system is up to date, you can proceed with the next troubleshooting steps to further address the issue. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Step 3. Update Device Drivers Outdated or corrupted device drivers can often be the culprit behind blue screen errors. It's essential to keep your drivers, especially those for critical components like your graphics card, chipset, and network adapters, up to date. Updating your device drivers ensures that your hardware components communicate effectively with the operating system, reducing the likelihood of compatibility issues and system errors. To update your device drivers manually, follow these steps. Identify the device. Determine which devices on your system may be contributing to the critical process died error. Common suspects include the graphics card, chipset, and network adapters. Visit the manufacturer's website. Go to the website of each device's manufacturer to locate the latest driver updates. Look for a support or download section where you can find drivers specific to your hardware model and operating system version. Download the drivers. Once you've found the correct drivers for your hardware, download them to your computer. Make sure to select the appropriate version for your operating system, Windows 10 or 11. Install the drivers. After downloading the drivers, navigate to the folder where they are saved and double-click on the installer file. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process. Restart your computer. After installing the drivers, it's recommended to restart your computer to apply the changes and ensure the new drivers are functioning correctly. If you prefer a more automated approach, you can also use Device Manager to check for driver updates. Open Device Manager. Right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager from the menu that appears. Locate the device. Expand the categories in Device Manager to find the device you want to update. Right-click on the device and select Update Driver. Choose Update Method. Select Search automatically for updated driver software. 
Windows will search online for the latest drivers and install them automatically if found. Restart your computer. After the driver installation is complete, restart your computer to apply the changes. By keeping your device drivers up to date, you can minimize the risk of encountering the critical process died error and ensure optimal performance of your Windows 10 or 11 PC. Step 4. Run System File Checker SFC, and Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM, tools. If the error persists, it's time to dive into system file issues. Corrupted system files can cause a variety of problems, including the critical process died error. Thankfully, Windows provides built-in tools to help repair these files. System File Checker SFC, tool. The System File Checker SFC, tool is a powerful utility that scans your system for corrupted or missing system files and attempts to repair them automatically. Here's how to run it. Open Command Prompt as an administrator by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting Command Prompt, Admin or Windows PowerShell, Admin. In the command prompt window, type the following command. SFC scano, without quotes, and press enter. The SFC tool will begin scanning your system for corrupted files. This process may take some time, so please be patient. Once the scan is complete, the SFC tool will report the results. If it finds any issues, it will attempt to repair them automatically. After the repair process is finished, restart your computer and check if the critical process died error persists. Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM, tool. In addition to the SFC tool, we also have the Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM, tool at our disposal. DISM is another command line tool that can help repair corrupted system files and components store corruption. Here's how to use it. Open command prompt as an administrator similar to the previous step. In the command prompt window, type the following command. DISM online cleanup image restore health, without quotes, and press enter. DISM will begin scanning your system and checking for component store corruption. If any issues are found, DISM will attempt to repair them automatically by downloading necessary files from Windows Update or using files from a specified location. Once the repair process is complete, restart your computer and check if the critical process died error has been resolved. By running both the System File Checker SFC, and Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM, tools, you can effectively identify and repair any corrupted system files that may be causing the critical process died blue screen error on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. This added detail provides viewers with clear instructions on how to run both the System File Checker SFC, and Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM, tools, empowering them to effectively troubleshoot and repair any corrupted system files, contributing to the error. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Step 5. Perform a full system scan for malware. Now, let's talk about ensuring your system is free from malware, a potential trigger for the critical process died error. Malicious software can wreak havoc on your system, causing various issues, including blue screen errors. Performing a thorough system scan for malware is essential to ensure your PC's security and stability. To initiate a full system scan using Windows Defender, which is built into Windows 10 and 11, follow these steps. Click on the Start menu and select Settings. In the Settings window, choose Update and Security. Navigate to the Windows Security tab and click on Open Windows Security. In the Windows Security app, select Virus and Threat Protection from the left-hand menu. Under the Virus and Threat Protection section, click on Scan Options. Choose Full Scan and then click on the Scan Now button. Windows Defender will now perform a comprehensive scan of your entire system, checking for any malware or suspicious files. Alternatively, if you prefer using a third-party antivirus program, ensure it's up-to-date and perform a full system scan according to the software's instructions. Once the scan is complete, review the scan results to identify and take appropriate action on any detected threats. By conducting a thorough malware scan, you can safeguard your system against potential threats and reduce the risk of encountering the critical process died error. Now that we've covered all the steps in detail, you should feel confident in troubleshooting and resolving the critical process died blue screen error on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. 
If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Step 6. Consider performing a system restore. If all else fails, and you're still encountering the critical process died error, it may be time to consider performing a system restore. This powerful feature allows you to revert your system to a previous stable state, effectively undoing recent changes that may have caused the error. To initiate a system restore, simply type system restore in the Windows search bar, and select create a restore point from the results. This will open the system properties window, where you'll want to click on system restore and follow the on-screen instructions. Once you've started the system restore process, you'll be presented with a list of available restore points. These are snapshots of your system taken at different points in time, typically created before significant changes such as software installations or updates. Carefully select a restore point that predates the appearance of the critical process died error, and follow the prompts to begin the restoration process. Keep in mind that System Restore will not affect your personal files, but it will uninstall any programs or updates installed after the selected restore point. After the restoration is complete, your system will restart, and hopefully, the error will no longer occur. However, it's important to note that System Restore is not always a guaranteed fix, and there is a chance that it may not resolve the issue entirely. If you find that the error persists even after performing a system restore, you may need to explore further troubleshooting options or consider seeking assistance from a professional technician. Remember, system restore should be used as a last resort when all other troubleshooting methods have been exhausted. It's a powerful tool, but it's not without its limitations, so proceed with caution. By elaborating on the system restore process, users gain a clearer understanding of how to use this feature effectively, as a potential solution to the critical process died error. And there you have it. With these detailed troubleshooting steps, you should be well equipped to tackle the critical process died blue screen error on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Until next time, happy computing.